Do you ever feel like you're not motivated? Do you ever feel like you're not motivated enough? You have goals in mind. You want to look a certain way. You want to lose a certain amount of weight. You want to, you know, be more fit. But you just don't have the motivation or the discipline to carry through with that. You know you want it. You can't. You start the process and you give up. This video is for you. This video might be one of the most powerful videos that I've ever made, hands down. I'm going to talk about things that blew my mind in my journey. And it's just insane how you, how you can transform your entire process, how you can change how you, you view this entire thing. And the crazy part is you can do this right now. It's all mental. So when you have when you want to get on a weight loss journey, when you want to get more motivated to go to the gym, there's obviously things you have to have in check, like a proper training program, tr proper nutrition program, all of that stuff. I'm not going to talk about those things. I'm going to talk about mentally what you can do to hone in, become more motivated, and don't stop. Don't stop your discipline. How you can achieve and kill your fitness goals. Kill in a good way. I don't think I've spoken about these things in detail ever before, so pay attention. If you feel like you're low on motivation, you know you want to look a certain way. You know you want to, you know, be more fitter, maybe have abs, a six-pack, be more muscular. You have this vision in your head of looking a certain way. And I've, it's, I've spoken about this before in the past, but I'm going to start off with this. You have to ask yourself why why do you want to look a certain way and don't i'm i hope i'm not lost you yet because i'm going to start with this but it's going to lead into a place where it's going to make you think why you've obviously seen a lot of other people a lot of it's generic why do you want to reach a certain goal and dig deeper into that i'm not going to get i'm not going to head in that direction the direction i want to head into is why do you want to look a certain way and what is it going to bring you? And I'm not going to judge. Your answer could be anything. I'm not in the place to say, oh, this, that reason isn't strong enough. This, is, this reason isn't strong enough. It might be, you know, you want to look good for summer. You want to get more girls. You want to just be more confident with yourself. It could be anything. You want to compete. I, Whatever your reason is, keep your reason and visualize why you know what looking that let's say that you do go ahead you do lose weight you do become a muscular you do look the way you want to look how your life is going to change for you what's going to change and i know that if you've never looked that way it's hard to sort of visualize or think about how life is going to be once you look that way but just try to imagine what life is going to be like once you look like that and if you can imagine that, if you can visualize, you know, the attention that you're getting, if you can visualize, you know, you're confident, you're fully confident with yourself. Maybe you're not confident right now. Maybe you're not secure with how you look right now. Maybe you don't love your body right now. It could be anything. It could be a lot of issues. But once you look that way, you're going to feel so much more confident in your own body. You're going to feel healthier. You're going to feel fitter. Visualize that. Now, what I, want to, what I want you to do once you've visualized that, of course, you know, visualizing this, it, it makes you want to get to that place. It, it may make you want to get more motivated to go train or eat right because you, want to, you really want to get to that place. But here's what's going to happen. It's going to motivate you and you might, it might motivate you for a week. For a few days a week maybe a few weeks but what happens after that is you're gonna crash you are visualizing how your life is gonna be isn't gonna get you very far in terms of motivation it can be a good start it can be a good start to get the fire burning but in terms of how far it's actually gonna get you in my experience it's not gonna get you very far this is what you should do instead you need to visualize the life and how you're going to look like in a year's time or six eight months however long your journey weight loss journey is going to be what's going to happen if you don't get to that point what's going to happen if nothing changes 
What's going to happen in six to eight months if nothing changes? You look the same. That's what you need to think about. And of course, you've heard of positive reinforcement, you know. Um, it, it works, looking at yourself, looking at your progress photos. But what works more, in my opinion, for me, is looking at myself, looking at old photos of me. You know, looking at before photos rather than after photos. Before photos motivate me so much more than looking at after photos. I don't, I don't want to know how, how I'm going to look like. I mean, I want to look the best that I can be, but what motivates me more is how I used to look like, because I never want to look like that again. So think about what's going to happen if nothing changes. What's going to happen if you look the same or you look worse? Think about that. And it, don't get in your head too much. Don't be too negative at yourself. But just this is what's going to get you motivated. This is. Not thinking about how good life can be. It's thinking about how bad things are going to be if you don't put in the work now. Let's say you, you're too lazy to meal prep. Thinking about you know, what's going to happen if you don't meal prep. Looking at that in that perspective. Let's say you don't want to meal prep. You're too lazy. Okay, you don't meal prep for this week. What's going to happen? You're going to eat out. What's going to happen? If you don't do this certain thing, nothing's going to change. That's what's going to happen. Nothing is going to change. There's not going to be any change. So that should be enough motivation. I mean, if you're not happy with the way you look right now, and of course you can love yourself. There's, you don't have to look a certain way to love yourself. But being happy with how you look, if you're overweight, if you're obese, that's a different thing. And if you're not happy with yourself, obviously being the same, should remaining the same, should be the biggest motivator for you. The same goes if you're skinny, you want to put on some muscle. Do you want to be the same? Think about what's going to happen if you don't put in the work. If you don't train and go to the gym. If you don't, if you're not on top of your nutrition. Think about that. That should be what motivates you. So that, that's how you get started. That's how you start your motivation. I mean, this works. I mean, there are a lot of people out there who are already super motivated in life. I'm talking to those people who can't get the motivation. If I, two, three years ago, you can see how I look like. If I told myself, hey, in two, three years, you're going to look the same. You're going to look like how you look like right now if you don't put in the work. If you don't start right now. That's going to scare me. That's going to motivate the hell out of me. And that's that it did. I knew that when I looked that way, I knew that when I started this journey, it's, it was going to be a long journey. And I wasn't going to look like how I wanted to look like for a few years at least because I put on so much weight. But now that I'm here, a few like a few years later, I'm thankful for the old me. So make sure that, you know, you're, the future you is going to thank you right now. Delayed gratification. So that's one thing. That's how you're going to stay. I mean, that's how you're going to become motivated. Now let's talk about how you're going to stay motivated. How you're going to stay disciplined. And I'm going to say it straight up. You have to love the process. And it's always nice to, you know, hit a milestone. Maybe you've lost 10 kilos, 12 kilos. It's, it's not bad to celebrate these things. But you can't look at it as a, you can't have an end goal in sight. And I know that makes no sense. Of course you want an end goal. Of course you want to look a certain way. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about once you train, work hard, once you're in your nutrition every single day, and let's say you get to a point where you're happy, you have this high dopamine release, what happens after that? You're going to feel down. And I know this because that's how I felt. I did feel that. I felt down. Once I got to a point where I was pretty happy with my physique, I had a big dopamine spike, and then for a, for a few days after, I just... 
I felt down because I didn't know what I wanted to do. So you can't dwell too much into the winds. It's nice to be proud of yourself, but don't be satisfied. Don't be satisfied. Be proud, but never satisfied. And I know this is a you know Christian Guzman quote, but it has such a practical application in what I'm talking about right now. You have to love the journey. Because if you tell yourself that you love the journey, you have to tell yourself that you love the journey. What that's going to do is... Right now, when you're tr- when you're in a journey, when you're in a weight loss journey, you have an end goal. You have this thought in your mind that it's all going to be worth it in the end. Once you look a certain way, you can celebrate. You're going to have this high dopamine release. And in your head, it's just like, work hard now and you can celebrate later. Work hard, celebrate later. And this might sound normal, but this is so detrimental to your progress. And here's why. Like I said, you're going to get to that point where you're actually happy with your physique and then you're going to crash. Your dopamine levels are completely going to crash. How do you fix this? You have to love the journey, not the end result. Fall in love with the journey. Tell yourself that you love the journey and that's why you're doing what you're doing. And you're not lying to yourself. You're just you know, for telling your body that this you want your dopamine to be released seeking during the seeking phase, you, you, you're seeking this goal. You don't want it just when you've had the goal. You want it when you're seeking the goal. Because in this scenario, like let's say you do get to a point where you're happy, your physique, you, you're going to keep going because you're in love with the journey. Fall in love with the journey. Fall in love with waking up every single morning. Fall in love with going to the gym five, six, seven times a week. Fall in love with cooking your own meals. Fall in love with training your heart out. Fall in love with the whole process because that's what's going to keep you going. Not looking a certain way. Looking a certain way is just a byproduct. Of course, you're going to look good. That's a byproduct. This is a lifestyle. You have to fall in love with the lifestyle. And you have that dopamine hit in your lifestyle. And what's going to happen is you're going to feel good during the journey. And once you've gotten to a point where you're you know, happy with your physique, you're going to, you know, it's good. You, should, you should feel proud. And then, straight after straight away boom keep working keep working there's always more things to work on and it doesn't just have to be your fitness goals maybe um you've achieved what you want to achieve fitness wise now you have to maintain that you know now you need other goals in mind which is why i made a video on why you need goals outside of gym you need to have goals because you have such a drive such discipline that you learn from the gym you need to apply that to something else so this is what you should do if you feel like you're low in motivation and you can't get started. Just get into a routine. Get into the process and tell yourself that you love the process. Force yourself to love the process and you are going to love the process. You're not going to... You're going to love how you're going to look like, but don't dwell too much into that. Don't. Trust me, you don't want to. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of how far you've come. But be more proud of the work that you're putting in. Or waking up early, going to the gym, eating right, eating on time, sleeping right. That should be what you should be proud of. And that's what's going to give you long-term success. So these are two things that you should, you really need to apply right now. And it is insane how much of a mental game this is. It's all mental. I mean, there's a physical aspect to it, which is training hard, eating right. But everything else is mental. So get your head in the right space and you're going to prosper. I hope you guys learned something from this. You can ask me anything you want on my Instagram, which will be up here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.